Hello everyone and welcome to the first ever Rideshare Hub quiz show where you will stack up and see how you rate as a rideshare driver. Uh, so we got uh, some questions we'll ask and then go over them after. Um, so make sure you get your paper, pens, and pencils all ready so we can get going. But before we get started, make sure to subscribe and ring the bell for notifications and also like this video. All right, let's get started. So if you aren't ready yet, eh, just hit pause. If you are ready with some pa uh, paper and a pen or pencil, let's get going. All right, we got 10 questions for you today. It's gonna be yes or no style, pretty easy. Uh, but basically, you know, just uh, jot down if it's a yes or a no, what you think. Uh, and then at the end, make sure to comment below what you got out of 10. Uh, we're also gonna go over the answers at the very end as well, and the reasons why they are the way they are. So question number one, can you take unaccompanied minors or anyone under the age of 18 in your vehicle. Give you a couple of seconds to think it out and write down yes or no. All right, number two. Can you take calls or text during rides? Whether it's personal, whether it's business, whichever. Can you take personal or business or rideshare calls or texts during rides, yes or no. Number three, is open containers of alcohol allowed in a lift for passengers? Again, can you have open containers of alcohol allowed in a lift for passengers? Number four, does Uber and Lyft provide insurance during rides? Yes or no, do they provide insurance during rides? Number five, can you take cash for rides? Again, can you take cash for rides? Answer yes or no. Number six, are you able to transport small children without a car seat if they are sitting in the back seat with seat belts on? Again, are you able to transport small children without car seats if they are sitting in the back seat with seat belts on? I'll give you a second for that one. Number seven, can you accept cash tips? Again, this one's a little different than five. This one is, can you accept cash tips? All right, number eight. Are you able to be online for both Uber and Lyft at the same time? That means, can you drive online at the same time for both? Yes or no? Number nine, do you need a phone mount in order to drive? Again, do you need a phone mount in order to drive? And number 10, can you make rules for your own vehicle that is beyond what Uber and Lyft say? Again, can you make your own rules when driving for Uber and Lyft? All right, so hopefully you guys got all those 10 questions. Now we're gonna go over the answers of all of them and also the reasons why they are the way they are. All right, so number one, can you take unaccompanied minors or anyone under the age of 18? The answer is no. There has to be at least somebody over 18 in the car in order to take any child. Uh, other than that, anybody who's under 18, you can't transport, whether it's your pa the parent trying to get them to go from point A to point B, uh, whether it's just them doing it, uh, whatever it is. But no, you cannot take unaccompanied minors uh, or a whole car full of underage uh, children. Can't do it. 
Uh, it's against terms of service. It's that simple. <laughs> All right, number two. Can you take calls or texts during rides? The answer is no. You cannot take calls or texts. Um, even if you have Bluetooth, you're not supposed to be taking uh, calls or texts while driving. You're supposed to stay focused on the road and be safe. Uh, now, Uber and Lyft do have certain uh, phone numbers. Uh, if there's somebody that's calling from that number, uh, find out from the passenger if they're calling you. Um, because you may have picked up the wrong passenger and they're trying to get hold of you. So if anything, pull over to the side of the road and then answer the phone call. Uh, that's it. Um, but do watch out because Uber and Lyft have been known to call uh, uh, drivers to see if they will answer during rides. Um, this is a catch-22 though. But yes, if you believe for some reason that you have picked up the wrong person for any reason, maybe you didn't verify who they were, um, you want to make sure you pick the right person up and then you don't have to answer your phone at all. Uh, so no, you cannot take calls or texts during rides, um, especially texting because it's distracted driving. Number three, is open containers of alcohol allowed in a lift for passengers? The answer is no. It doesn't matter if an area or a local area allows open containers within the car as a passenger, um, but Lyft strictly states in the terms of service that there is no alcohol allowed in a lift whatsoever. So no, you cannot bring alcohol into a lift or allow your passengers to uh, bring alcohol into the car when driving for Lyft. Number four, uh, does Uber and Lyft provide insurance during rides? Yes, they do. Uh, you need to check with Uber and Lyft, both with their policies on how they are set up. Um, because when you are online, you're covered sometimes with certain things, uh, but when you're giving a ride, you're covered differently. So you wanna make sure you are aware of how you're covered if you're driving for Uber and if you're driving for Lyft, so you know how they work and what goes on that way. All right, number five, can you take cash for rides? The answer is no, you cannot take cash for rides. You're not a taxi service. Everything has to go through the app. So if you're taking cash for rides, you need to stop now. If there's any uh, accident, you get pulled over, anything like that, guess what? You're 100% liable because your insurance company will not cover it because they're saying you're giving rides for service and you don't have commercial insurance. So here's the thing, do not take cash for rides. Number six, are you able to transport small children without car seats if they're sitting in the back seat with seat belts on? The answer is an absolute no. Children who need car seats and booster seats need those car seats and booster seats in your vehicle at all times. It doesn't matter if they can put the seat belt on or not and sit in the back seat. That doesn't matter. They need to have car seats. If you're transporting children without car seats, you need to stop that immediately and not allow that in your vehicle because it is against terms of service. You can get deactivated, uh, you can get a ticket, a lot of different things can happen. So do not take a child without a car seat or a booster seat when they need it. All right, number seven, can you accept cash tips? Yes, you can accept cash tips. It used to be a time when you couldn't um, when Uber said you couldn't, uh, but they've changed their stance since then. Uh, you can take cash tips. Uh, you are supposed to actually ask or verify that it is a cash tip just in case something happens down the road. Um, but yes, you do need to take uh, cash or you are allowed to take cash tips. So that is a yes there. Number eight, are you able to be online for both Uber and Lyft at the same time? That answer is yes, you can. You can have both apps open and online at the same time. Now, when a ride comes in for one app, make sure you switch over to the other app, turn that one off, uh, and then go to your ride and pick them up. Uh, and then once it calms down again, uh, you can turn both apps on. It's a way to maximize your money. Uh, so make sure you can do that uh, if you didn't know already. But yes, you can drive both at the same time. Number nine, do you need a phone mount in order to drive? Yes, you do. Uh, it's unsafe not to have uh, a phone mount at all. 
Um, it's distracted driving. Also, if you need to look down, uh, it's gonna be harder for you to look. So make sure you do have a phone mount either on the vent, uh, on the wind or on the uh, uh, dashboard, um, something where it's gonna be in easy reach, something where you can look, uh, but it's not gonna be distracting or um, it's not gonna fall all over if you don't have a dash uh, mount or something like that for the phone mount. Um, but yes, you do need one in order to drive. And number 10, can you make rules, your own rules, for when driving for Uber or Lyft uh, that it goes beyond Uber and Lyft and even the local law? Yes, you can. Um, they don't address things like food, um, even vaping, things like that, those couple of things, you can put in rules that say you can't come in the car uh, with like food or something or you can't eat. Um, whatever it might be, you can make your own rules beyond what Uber and Lyft say. Uh, you might not even want to allow drinks in your car um, unless it's like a uh, closable container, like a uh, 20 ounce pop, uh, pop or soda drink uh, or a water bottle or something like that. So yes, you can make your own rules beyond that. So that is it for it. How'd you guys do? Um, did you get a 10 out of 10? Did you not? What did you get trapped on or th uh, thought that was the opposite? Comment below, let us know. Uh, and if you got 100, comment below, let us know also. And if you enjoy this type of video and want a little bit more, uh, let me know as well or let Dylan know. Uh, we'll be able to do more uh, little uh, game show style um, episodes for you. Now, uh, on to everything else. Uh, yes, this has been another episode of the Rideshare Hub. If you haven't hit that subscribe button, make sure you do. There's really good content that comes out all the time, whether it's myself, whether it's Dylan, a couple other drivers that help uh, um, become a better rideshare driver. So make sure you hit that subscribe button with ringing the bell for notifications. Also, make sure to like this video uh, because it is a fun little video to do. Uh, it's a little bit different than the normal. So make sure you hit that like button. Also, uh, make sure to check out my channel called Real Rideshare Stories, uh, where I talk about different actual rideshare rides and show them on there. Uh, so make sure you check out my channel. Uh, and that is it, guys. This has been another episode of the Rideshare Hub. My name is Chris, and we'll see you next time.